So I'm going to start off by putting in my moisturizer. This is the moisturizer that I use at the moment from Adara Skincare. You guys might recognize the name. Some of you guys asked me like where do I get my facials done and if that was the place that I got my facials done last time. She recommended this product that she pretty much formulated herself for people who have oily skin. So this is a moisturizer that I've been using as of lately. It is two ounces so you'll be good to go. You can bring this in here. Next up, I am taking my Vitamin Rich Face Base from Bobbi Brown. You guys know that I love this stuff. I use it so much in my videos recently, and this is like an amazing primer moisturizer at the same time. So I really, really love this. If you haven't like tried it out, I suggest you get like a sample at Sephora, whatever the case may be, and try this out. So next thing up is the Hydrating Eye Cream by Bobbi Brown. I love bringing a hydrating eye cream because obviously you're jet lagged from the plane and you're not sleeping much when you're on vacation. If I do say so myself, I'm always too turned. So I literally end up sleeping nothing and wake up super early so I can enjoy like the rest of the vacation. So I definitely need an eye cream in this travel kit. So next up we have this setting spray from Ofra. This is actually a setting spray that I got from Ofra and the cap of that one broke so I put it inside this like travel mini size MAC Fix Plus but it's, it, this is not Fix Plus but the Ofra setting spray is like amazing so I had to bring that with me. So this is like a small little sample of it. Next up we have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. You guys know that I've been loving this so much. This one is 2.8 fluid ounces so you'll be good to go with this one as well you can definitely add this to your travel kit next up I have foundations and I'm going to be taking four foundations with me I am a little crazy like that but they all have different finishes and they all have different purposes and they serve different purposes and all different skin tones like when you get that weird awkward tan you don't really know like what shade you are these are all perfect for this and I also absolutely love these like in the heat weather and like you know while I'm traveling first foundation I'm taking is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. This is in the old packaging and this is in the shade Olive. I really, really love this one. Next up, I'm going to be taking the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation. This one has SPF 15. So that means that if you wear this like for the beach, like if you want to take like some cute pics or whatever, then you'll be covered. But it doesn't get flashback for some reason. I never get flashback with this. They do say that SPF creates flashback, but I guess it's like in certain foundations. This gives me like no flashback whatsoever, just in case you guys were wondering. But I've been really loving this foundation lately. It's literally just as it claims. It's like a weightless foundation that looks amazing. It looks like skin and it just makes your skin look so flawless so I'm definitely bringing this one and I'm bringing the shade with me 4.75 so the next foundation I'm going to take is actually another favorite of mine you guys already know I've been loving this foundation so much this is the cover effect power play foundation and I am in the shade G plus 60 this is like my really really tan shade which I know I'm gonna get so excited but either way I'm also bringing this one with me this one is amazing amazing in like warmer weather and like where there's humidity like this foundation is flawless love this one so much and then another favorite of mine that I'm bringing is the hourglass vanish stick foundation I have the shade here sand this is kind of like my darker shade so I'm also bringing this one this one can be a little tricky when it comes to wearing this like where there's a lot of sun and stuff like that so I normally just wear this at night where it's not too too hot and the sun isn't out because you will literally like melt in this foundation so keep that in mind just wear this like at night when you're gonna go out to dinner and like take some cute pics or whatever the case may be because this photographs amazing like with flash at night so that's why I'm bringing this one and of course we have to take beauty blenders so I'm going to be taking two of those and I'm just going to throw those in there. Next up we have brow powder. You guys know obviously you need to do brows. I mean if you don't want to then you don't have to but this is like an essential thing in my kit. This is a foolproof brow powder from Benefit and I use the shade number one. It has like ashier um, undertone than number three so this is why I prefer it because my hair is blonde and it's ashy so it just goes and pairs well together. This is my favorite favorite powder at the moment. Moment. it's been like for a year now so this is all I use in my eyebrows then here we just have some tools pretty much scissors to cut eyelashes Mac giga black clay mascara also house of lashes glue this is my favorite glue like in the whole wide world and then here we just have these little like lash applicators 
All right, then for lashes, I'm going to be taking these IA lashes. I tagged them before on my Instagram, but I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested. These are in the name Aries, so I'm going to bring those. I'm also going to bring another pair, and this one is in the name Shanti. Next up, I'm taking my favorite lashes. You guys know I rave about these. Like, if I'm not wearing Lily lashes, I'm wearing OG lashes all the time. So these are my favorite at the moment. These are new, a new collection that they came out with. These are in the style Sashley. These are like my favorite lashes like to wear with like no eyeshadow, just literally foundation and eyelashes. So these are my favorite ones. So of course I'm going to bring those. And then last but not least, we have Batty B lashes in the style Insta Ho. I haven't tried these yet. I'm so excited. So I thought this would be the perfect time to bring these babies out. All right, next up is concealers, and I am bringing with me on this trip the Born This Way concealers, and I am bringing the shade Golden Beige. I'm also bringing the shade Honey. And next, I'm bringing the shade Mocha, which is going to be my cream contour. And next, I am bringing the shade number six from the KKW concealers. Really love this shade. It's like very yellow and also brightening. Oh my God, girl. You packing way too much. Then for lips, of course, I am bringing my favorite nudes. I'm just going to like throw these here. You guys already know the lip liner that I love. This is by Jordana and it's called Coco Logo. This is like my favorite lip liner. Of course, I'm bringing the Dose of Colors and Desi and Katie collection over the top gloss. I'm bringing Dose of Colors Can You Not gloss and another favorite of mine this Bare Minerals gloss and this is in the shade Fly. For another lip liner that I've been loving, this is the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the shade Foxy Brown. And then I'm just bringing Peach Stock by MAC and then Kim KW by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm also bringing two reds, American Doll by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is like older than older. And then this shade is from Estee Lauder and this is the shade Controversial. Of course, I have to bring a highlighter. So I'm going to bring three of them. This one is more of a loose highlighter. This one is by Artist Couture. And this one is in the shade Conceited. Next up, we're going to be taking the I Love Sarai and Dose of Colors highlighter. It's this one right here. This one is in the shade Stalmate. Love the packaging of this. Oh my god, I love palm trees so much. You should know this if you've been following me for a while. But if you just found me, I love palm trees. I don't want to know where I'm going to put all these powders. <laughs> so now for powder, I am of course bringing my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm also bringing my Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. Next, I'm going to be taking my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Powder in the shade NC40 and also NW45. One is to like contour and bronze up and the other one is to just set my face. And for actual bronzer, I am going to be taking the Becca Capri Coast Sun Lip Bronzer. I'm also going to be taking this Sonia Kashuk Illuminating Bronzer and this is in the shade Bronzed Goddess. Another bronzer I am bringing with me is the La Mercier Soleil One Bronzer. I love this one. It's my recent favorite. So I'm also bringing that one with me. For blush, I am going to be bringing this Tarte Amazonian Clay in Captivating. You guys know, if you've been following me for a while, this is like one of my favorite blushes since years. So I'm definitely bringing that with me, putting this like right here. Next up, I am bringing my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finish Powder. And this is in the shade number two. I absolutely love this powder like so, so much. Can't leave it behind. And then last but not least for powders, I am going to be taking this All Nighter Powder by Urban Decay. This is called the Waterproof Setting Powder and it literally does the job. It's totally waterproof. It's an amazing powder. If you look at all the Sephora reviews, you'll see what I'm talking about. Plus, I love this packaging. Yeah, this is the last powder I am going to be bringing with me. Okay, make some room, girl. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to be showing you guys the eyeshadows that I'm bringing with me. I'm bringing the Sassy Siennas by Dose of Colors. This is what the palette looks like. It's pretty much just neutrals and warm tones and RNG kind of like corally tones. So this is just a pretty much like warm tone kind of palette with some corals in there and some browns. So this one is perfect for vacation because we all know bronzy and glowy is the way to go when you're in the island. And I'm just going to put this inside this pocket right here. 
Another eyeshadow palette that I'm bringing with me is the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette and this one is Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition. Let's open that up. Oh girl. The reason why I really love this palette is because it brings a mirror and then it brings these beautiful shades that are perfect for vacation. You have your browns you have you have like your one brown here um and then you have your light shimmery like kind of like champagne colors you have your golds you have your brown golds like your bronzy golds your like light pinks and then you have here kind of more of a purple like type of like i don't know how to explain it but this palette is just beautiful this palette is just beautiful and i absolutely love it so i'm definitely bringing that palette with me all right let's close this real quick because bitch and then last but not least i'm taking this dose of colors heart of gold eyeshadow if you guys don't know what this looks like let me just open it up this eyeshadow is pretty busted because i do use it a lot but please don't mind that either way this is just a beautiful bronzy gold to go all over the lid so and it shines so pretty definitely bring in this one with me as well struggling over here and then over here I just have all of my brushes these are pretty much all the brushes I will need for like the four days that I'm going to be there I am bringing like um a few that can do like the same thing and a few that are like the, that are pretty much like the same brush and if you are wondering how I clean my brushes while I'm on vacation I just use um, alcohol 90% alcohol 100% alcohol and I just bring that in a little um bottle like this one pretty much like one of these travel size like fix plus type of bottles and I just pretty much just use like a, a towel or whatever the case may be or like a napkin and spot clean them like that but this is pretty much it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys love this video and this helped you out in any shape or form I am literally so tired right now like I don't even think no one understands how tired I am my plane leaves are super early so love that for me but either way thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Mwah.